All right, another quick video on this wicked devil here on screen. This guy, I don't even want to say his name after finding out where he got his name from. But uh, born Robert Schliemann. Okay, so Mari, Mar Mari Emmanuel is not even his name. Not even his real name. He made up the name, and I'm going to show you where he got it from, which is blasphemy. All right, but Robert Schliemann, why would he want to change his name? I wonder if it has something to do with this. Not the actions of a man of grace. Bishop rebuked for uh, a sexual issue with an 18-year-old. You get into this thing here. I can't go through the article because it, it'll come up here with a pay thing. You have to you know, pay for it or whatever else. I'm not going to join the that particular Sunday morning Herald thing, whatever else. But yeah, one of you let me know about that in the comment section. You said just type in the thing of Robert Sch uh, Schliemann sexual assault and I'll come up with this stuff so that's interesting but this Mar Mari is actually a saint uh, in I guess the uh, orthodox system or something like this but they're saying basically you can read this thing here I'm not going to get down through it all but they're saying that uh, um, Mar Mari considered as one of the 70 the disciples of Christ referred to in the New Testament Luke chapter 10 verse 1 is sent to the Babylonian lands by Adai, the apostle of Edessa, in the first five parish, blah, blah, blah. So it's supposedly a saint in the Orthodox system, Mar Mari. So he takes his name from a saint. Huh. Interesting. He has to get rid of his original name. Uh, I didn't get rid of my name, but I'm not part of some special little church thing where they dress up in special outfits. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. I mean, it, Dressing up in these little costumes with little things on your head, little crosses, and, you know, I'm better than all of the rest of you. Now, I believe in the priesthood of the believer, and there's no little special outfits for Sunday, you know, that you wear in church and whatever else, and come worship before me. I'm the holy bishop or something. You know, may the Lord rebuke you out there, this devil here, Robert Schliemann. Uh, but anyhow, but then you get into the thing of Emmanuel. Mar, Mari, Emmanuel. What's the word Emmanuel mean? God with us, or God is with us. What's he trying to say? What's this stupid devil trying to say? And by the way, if you look it up in the New Testament, Emmanuel only appears one time in the entire New Testament in your King James Bible, and it's a reference to Jesus Christ. No man ever takes took that name Emmanuel in the Bible. One of God's titles. So this devil here, this Robert Sliman, uh, he comes along and he says, I'm going to take a saint's name, Mar Mari, and then he says, I'm going to take God's name, God with us. So you're watching his channel, I guess you, it's God with you, apparently. What a blasphemous devil. But uh, you go to his actual church thing here on YouTube and um, type in the thing of Mary, Mother of God. And look at all the sermons. Oh, Mary, Mother of Christ. The Assumption of the Virgin Mary. That's Catholic doctrine. Mary was called up to heaven uh, because she was sinlessly perfect. That's blasphemy. That's wicked. Jesus Christ is the only one who's sinless. The whole Assumption of Mary wasn't even made up until the 20th century by the Catholic Church. Interesting. But uh, it goes down through the Feast of Assumption of Our Holy Mother. The Queen of Heaven. Hey, idiot, did you read your Bible at all? Go back to the book of Jeremiah, who the queen of heaven is. It's a female devil that people worshipped. Contemplation on the Virgin Mary, you know, the blessed Virgin Mary, Mary, Mother Mary's assumption, you know. Yeah, just a, another papist wannabe is all this guy is. And then go to another one here. Type in Eucharist, the Holy Eucharist, bread. Holy Eucharist, symbolic or truth. The Holy Eucharist, wine. The Holy Eucharist, body and blood of Christ. He's a papist. That's all he is. And I'm sure the Catholics out there will say, oh, don't blame, you know, <laughs> this nut on us. We don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, but he, you see, he's learning his stupidity from the Roman Catholic Church and just kind of trying to make his own little version of it, you know, be his own little pope or whatever else. So um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this guy going through his stuff and whatever else, watch a whole sermon and whatever. The guy makes me want to vomit, especially after the whole pedophile thing that came out about him and, and all the little followers out there. Oh, it's just artificial intelligence. He, you know, It was a joke and it didn't quite work. 
you're blasphemous. You deserve hell just as much as your little cult leader there. Just disgusting. So, I mean, this, this stinging devil taking the name. I don't care about the Mar Mari guy. If the guy even ever existed, I have no idea. Where's the names of the 70 that were there, the 70 disciples and things? Where are their names at? I don't know. Is, is there any historical proof for that? No idea. Not going to spend any time getting into all that stuff. I don't care one way or the other. But Emmanuel? Uh, that's the name of my savior. Not some dopey pervert over there in Australia. So you need to repent of following this wicked man. Because if you follow him, he's going to lead you straight to hell. Just like the Lord Jesus Christ said, if the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. That's going to be it. Get away from this guy.